they were about the bottom. And I'd be the bitch ass if a hoe got a prime. And it's really been a while since I got in a fight. I'm talking about the fact that he really got this looking like a genius interview. I, I love, yo, I'm putting my green screen back up tonight. <laughs> and y'all, so I stopped using my green screen because of my lighting. My lighting, that, it was getting on my nerves. It wasn't doing what I needed it to do. You know what I'm saying? So, child. These hoes be getting pressed like a doorbell. Ding dong. I was set back on my mission. I didn't follow intuition. Back then I didn't want to listen. But now I'm gunning for redemption. I want redemption. I want it. I got it. I want redemption. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, I would like to say thank you to I Am Zoe for um, coming to the party and shutting the bitch down. We had some fun. Yeah, we even went to eat afterwards, you know what I'm saying? Um, and he did a video with me. Thank you so much. I had a ball, you know what I'm saying? Got a lot of respect for him. He not bougie. He down to earth. He's exactly the way he is on this computer right now, okay? Uh, I just wanted to get that out of the way. Now... Um, he, he did a city girls, um, genius interview with himself. So I'm about to just go ahead and react to this. You know what I'm saying? Um, let's get it. Okay. So first of all, I want to get shit clear. The city girls stole everything from me and Tasha and that's on period. <laughs> Who is Tasha? Y'all already know, TT been doing this shit. I've been in jail. Before I went in jail, I ain't never seen y'all Miami take anybody in. JT take anybody in. I've been taking niggas. Y'all know this. That's what I do. <laughs> Me and Tasha from the city girl. City girls, you feel it? So you know what I'm saying? Anyway, they can steal my sweat. I've been locked up. She wanna go in the room with it, she can run with it. Do you think y'all Miami is that then? The way I came up with this song that they took from us, it's a so far I got locked up. I was on, uh. So what is he mean? playing as TT or JT? Two things. I don't know. It was whatever. I was on something. And I heard it said, bum, 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 bum. And I was like, oh, I take your name. And I don't even like old school <laughs> shit. Because, bitch, them old school hoes, they, they, they get seeds and shit. I ain't got time to be MC with a hoe, bitch. I'm ready to talk some shit. You're going to beat your ass, hoe. I'm saying, <laughs> period. So then, boom. Tasha walk in. Tasha, like, girl, I ain't even respond. Cut that off. I'm like, bitch, this going to be the hit, girl. Trust me. These hoes want to run around talking shit, girl. They're going to be like, oh my God, I can relate. Hoes always talk about we can't do shit, we can't do that. I was like, bitch, I'm going to take that man, huh? What you saying? <laughs> From when I walked in the door, I been felt the tension. The niggas with the sweat and the hoes with the whispering. That's your girl, T.T. She started with QT. How the fuck she got a deal? She been rapping about a week. And I wrote that. He's so damn um creative. I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that T-Mobile one because, bruh, like, and, and you know, first of all, everything is put on this platform for all of us to use. You come up with a new idea, everybody else can run with it tomorrow. That's just the way the world works, okay? Um, I try to not do that. However, T-Mobile get on my nerves, so I might have to go ahead and do that, put the green screen back up. I walk in the room, these hoes be getting pressed like a doorbell. <laughs> Ding dong. <laughs> Cause he wrote the damn song. <laughs> okay. Dope. Well, he wrote like back up. All of them. 
just run around talking. I think it's like, girl, why is you pressed? Doorbell, do you don't? Why is you mad, ho? And worry about yourself, worry about what you're doing, where you at, why you stuck where you at, look at the way you look, girl. That's what you need to worry about. Don't worry about me. You mad because you want to be where I'm at. And I'm my mother, straight from the bottom. And I beat a bitch ass if a whole got a prime. It's really been a while since I got in a fight. I'm talking about the fact that he really got this looking like a genius interview. I, I love, yo, I'm putting my green screen back up tonight. <laughs> and y'all, so I stopped using my green screen because of my lighting. My light and that it was getting on my nerves. It wasn't doing what I needed it to do. You know what I'm saying? So, child. That's what I thought. Y'all remember, like, it was at the grocery store. Now, security guard. I got a new light. I thought the little girl was about 20 years old because she had too much mouth. And her mama should have been watching her little nephew ass. Anyway, I want to bust her. Okay, so I could see his doing a little something in the corner. But mine was doing something at the top. And every time I moved, got on my nerves. Like that, like I really, didn't, I really didn't want to hurt her like that. That's why I got locked up the end too. <laughs> Cause the girl just popped up in the mouth of my security guard thing, like beep beep beep, trying to steal. And I said, "Girl, what you got?" <laughs> and then she turned out like a man. Oh, okay. I'm, if I look like a man, I'm a beach like a man. Oh, like, <laughs> period. That's on period. Girl. And sometimes the whole week get her ass full. It ain't always about trying to talk shit out being grown. Sometimes you gotta act that. Then her mama came up in the style and she was drunk with her. Man was like, "No, Titi, don't don't be that ass. She drunk." I said, "Well, grandma, sober her ass up." On period, you know? <laughs> man, man. So I can fuck him in the mouth in your house where you land in. Like when you fussing about you out here, you can't do no. Yo, you got this looking just like a genius uh, interview, like for real. You're so dope. He is so dope. So you gotta go at them hard. Like you gotta say some shit that's gonna make them hoes mad. And that what I just said, that's some fighting words. That's how I wrote it, cause we're trying to fight. Like pussy hole in your man. <laughs> like I'm gonna fuck him in the mouth where you lay at. Shit, ain't a baby. I'm not to take a break up and have you home, but I f apartments up with your man in. Okay. On Instagram, looking for a flaw on the off, pussy hole on raw. I get it from my mammy, and I know how to hand me. So you're fired from my hand. <laughs> like, like, how to and I know how to hand me. Talk shit, get my money, carry myself the way I carry. I got it from my mama. Period. Don't let this nigga play you, play him. You ain't gonna never see TT getting played by no nigga. I f your daddy. And that's some period. <laughs> and you're f brother. And get pregnant by your man. Oh my god. Saying, huh? If they ain't about to check, you ain't getting no net. If you try to put some case behind that book, and it's an extra feet if you're trying to ski. Period. How you mad when you had a chance? Y'all hoes better stop playing. I take your man. And how y'all mad when you had a chance? Like, it's your CT time. And it's OP, huh? It's dead. Period. I take your man. I take your man. It's the <laughs> city, girls, and you know what? I'll fuck you. So get out my face before I touch you. Ho, don't you know? Can't you understand? Bitch, you fuck with me. I take your man. I took somebody in yesterday. I get in DMs all the time. Period. And they write me back. Period. So, girl, I took your man. He's my man. He's our man. Girl, I don't even want him. I just want to play with him just to take your man, girl. I, I give him away. Nah, I give him away. So then when I finished the song, I wrapped it. We went to the club, whatever case it be. We, you know, did it a couple of times. So I got, um, <laughs> the people start rapping the song, and like the chorus will come on, and then boom, 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 boom. It's like everybody just started doing that. They be doing the ad libs and all this. I'm like, bitch, sometimes I don't even want to rap. <laughs> I'm like, bitch, I'm gonna be like, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> you got Miami, bitch. I already pressed JT and Jill Ho when I see you bitches up. Period. That was dope as hell. That was dope as hell. He had to make up for that messy Monday because he was here. You know what I'm saying? Leaving Charlotte on Monday. You get what I'm saying? But I told you it wasn't going to be no messy Monday. <clears throat> but yeah, y'all, for more videos like this, please give this video a thumbs up, man. If y'all want me to do that T-Mobile video, let me know because that was hilarious. Matter of fact, I'm going to just do it. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. We on to the next video. Peace out. Are you looking to get your shirt printed by Nick G the host? And not only get your shirt printed, get the fattest, the best, the baddest logo in the world. And that's royalty apparel. And you can get it from me. Yes, me. I do everything. I print out the logo. I cut the logo. I pick the logo. I also make sure it's measured right so it won't be crooked on your shirt. Then I press it down. Okay, one, two, three. Pop open. Then you got the best logo out in the world, okay? 
and I gotta make sure that it's on correctly. Not only that, I gotta ship it. So I make sure it's on there, heat and press right. Then I make sure it's folded right. Package it right. Okay, okay. Then you gotta close it so it can get to you on time. You know what I'm saying? Then I put my P.O. box on a paper and I send it to your door. Let me know if you want your shirt printed. Go visit royaltiesworld.bigcartel.com and go get your shirt today. Peace out.